City police officer Joseph Benedetto is booked tonight on second-degree assault charges and the beating of a Crown Heights Brooklyn liquor store owner. The Nazis tonight call off their march through Skokie. A Cranford, New Jersey man is in jail on charges he allegedly murdered and mutilated his high school sweetheart. And Yankee manager Billy Martin's boss warns him it's time to start winning or else. Channel 2 News, the 11 o'clock report with Roland Smith and Vic Miles. Good evening, everyone. I'm Roland Smith. Here's what's happening. There is new talk in Crown Heights tonight. It is about police officer Joseph Benedetto. He was arrested on charges of possession of a deadly weapon and second-degree assault for allegedly using his day stick, a 10-inch hard rubber blackjack, on a merchant. Precinct boundary, the police officer arrested does not work there. Minds that for some of these people, it's a 30-year experience of having had a wonderful dental service done by my husband, and you build up a loyalty that just doesn't get destroyed that simply. The sentencing is scheduled for August 21st. Vic? These other people are in the news tonight. Princess Caroline at Maxime's in Paris for a strictly private dinner with 130 friends. Caroline gets married twice next week, a civil wedding June the 28th, and a relig religious ceremony the next day. Singer Nancy Wilson, seriously injured in a car accident last week, has been charged with drunken driving. The accident took place as Ms. Wilson was driving home from L.A. International Airport. She told police she had had only two drinks on her flight. Leon Spinks is having his troubles on the road, too. The heavyweight champ was arrested for spe uh, speeding today, this time in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Just yesterday, Spinks was fined for driving without a license and without proper plates. Still to come, 11 o'clock report. If you rent in New York, you may soon have a new tax break. Yankee President Al Rosen talks about Yankee manager Billy Martin's shaky future. Tonight in Manhattan, the testimony continues in Con Ed's request to raise your electric bills. And donors turn out to help a little boy who needs 1,200 pints of blood a year just to survive.